All right, in this video, we are going to be playing something that isn't GPO. We're diversifying the content a little bit. I have no idea how you guys are going to like this at all. If you want me to keep making videos like this, well, not on True Peace, but just different games in general, let me know. But, um, yeah, we're going to be trying out this game that I've been hearing a lot about from a lot of different people recently. And, um, it seems interesting to say the least. It looks like, um, it's pretty similar to Blocks Roots, I think. Uh, off of the gameplay that I've seen, even the game passes seem similar to it. Like you have uh, Mihawk Sword as a game pass, some Devil Fruit Finders, two times mastery things. I'm pretty sure those are game passes that also exist in Blocks Roots, stuff like that. Um, I don't think there's very much of a PvP system. It's mainly you just check out your skills and your set. Uh, which there's nothing really wrong with games like that. It's just personally, I don't enjoy games like that. I'm looking at the fruits they have. Yeah, it's just like I, I enjoy a game that's more centered around its PvP and where grinding is something you're doing strictly to just have more fun later in the PvP. Light, dark, smoke, and string, gravity. Okay, okay. Operation? What's that? Oh, is that Lost Fruit? Is that what they're calling Ope? Okay, whatever. Um interesting selection of fruits do they not have gum uh am i slow or oh rubber there it is okay but um so yeah i guess let's not waste any more time and actually look at the game i already looked around at the character customization a bit select the pirate they have this like perk system and i used my perk spins and i got luck every time so whatever um, race spins are only 50, so I guess we'll spin, but if we get something interesting, then dope. If we don't, then I don't think I'm gonna spin too many times. Why is my character actually, like, spinning around up there? Uh, we'll, we'll do, if we get human again, we'll do another one. Skypean, okay. That's cool, I guess. Those wings look alright. I don't know what a Skypean would be able to do differently, but... Um, regardless, the character customization looks okay. I really like the sunny in the background. That looks dope, actually. Like, it's a, it's a, not, yeah, it looks, it looks good. It looks pretty good. Um, but, yeah, no need to be critiquing this too much. But, uh, yeah, let's jump into the actual gameplay now. Okay, just looking around off spawn. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. Um, it doesn't look, like, great or anything, but it definitely doesn't look bad by any means. Uh, let's see if we can turn up the sound if there's... I don't know if there's music. Uh, music off. There we go. Um, but let's see. It doesn't look bad. Um, hey, it's too heavy for me. Can you deliver this package? Oh, it's a delivery quest. Hey, I mean they have cutscenes for their quests. That's not half bad. And there's a skip option too, so that's also pretty good. Too bad I'm looking at these animations and they're not fantastic. <laughs> Um, also, I don't know how I feel. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. I don't know how I feel about them making you use your, like, own character, but whatever. And then you deliver, and there we go. Okay, that's not, that's not anything crazy. Defeat six bandits. Um, I am fully prepared for this to be a bandit beater, like, obviously. Yep, you're literally just like going like, I'm assuming this is a majority of the gameplay. At least they mix it up a little bit by having heavy attacks, so like you can do basic M1s, which are four hit M1 combos, but then you're also given the option to heavy with right click. So, you know, that's at least some versatility that doesn't come with all of these games. So, props to them for that one. I'm really getting boxed up by a bandit right now and a bandit beater, but... I don't know how I feel. <laughs> like, obviously, bandit beating is the staple of One Piece games. I mean, hell, even GPO has is a, is a bandit beater. It's a glorified bandit beater. This one isn't really glorified, though. It's just, it seems like it's just a bandit beater. And to be honest, it really just feels like you're playing Blocks Roots. As a person who played Blocks Roots a, a decent amount, like, I at least made it to second seat. Uh, I know they have, like, a third seat now, but I really just don't care for that game. It doesn't fit my my play style too much. Um, it 
it definitely feels like I'm just playing a worse blocks fruits I think so you know what if you're actually I was gonna say if you're a fan of blocks fruits then you could play this but like this is just first impressions by the way this isn't like my final opinion but I don't see it really changing too much but it just feels like every few months or so we do get a game that is similar to blocks roots also i turned off music but i can't hear any of the sound effects at all now so that's a little weird oh i can hear that what uh whatever it doesn't matter but um yeah it seems like we get games like this where people will play them and you know the game pulls decent um players but i don't know how long it's gonna last but i'm not gonna call anything early so yeah let's see um power how many skill points oh uh, you know what we're just gonna put all our skill points in power because that's all we have and our race is skypean does that does that give us anything skills uh race skills oh we do get things oh we got a jet dial how do you get belly i want to use a jet dial flash dial binding dealing away damage perform jet dial that propels you forward to deal damage to an enemy you know what i actually like that i like the fact that skypeans kind of get their own moveset which they rarely ever do um looks like we're gonna have to repeat this quest which i'm not gonna show but yeah you know it's it's definitely unique that skypeans get a moveset based off of dials which i wish gpo would do to be honest that'd be really cool Wait, you don't wait. It cost zero in the requirements. Skype and dial part one quest complete. Oh, so, oh, so these don't require. And I don't know why I thought they required belly, and it was telling me I had zero. So I just need to find the um the Skype and quest. Okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I might just go and check the Trello. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go check the Trello and see where these Skype and dial quests are. Okay, so I looked it up and it said that you can't get these Skypean skills until you go to Orange Town. I think that's where you learn it. And you have to be level 100. And I'm definitely not level 100. I think I'm here. And I think I'm going to be here for a while. I don't know what level I am. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I have no clue what level I am. I don't even know. I, I, I might be stupid for not knowing, but I really don't know. But, um, yeah, we're still just bandit beating, I guess. I don't know what to do. Uh, we're going to look around after I complete this quest, I guess, one more time. I'm going to go talk to them. Oh, look, that's me realizing that my level is at the bottom of the screen. I probably had people yelling at their monitors trying to express that, but that's okay. Um, can you defeat six sword bandits? I don't... What does the blue thing mean? The bandit boss is running rampant. Can you defeat ten bandits and the bandit boss? Why do... Must be level 10 or above. Oh, so I have to do this quest. Great. You know, really trying not to make it feel like this game is a bandit beater. But I feel like a big portion of this game's player base is definitely mobile players. <laughs> Which, not trying to talk bad about mobile players, but there's a reason. Like, some games are played on Roblox and, like, other people don't understand why they're played, like... There's a reason so many people play Blox Roots. I think Blox Roots is on mobile, right? Uh, and not GPO. Other than the fact that GPO, you know, costs Robux. Is, you know, you could play it on mobile. Um, so I do feel like this is a thing where a majority of the player base is definitely, definitely mobile players. Which, not that there's anything wrong with that. But there's just better game. Like, if you have the resources to play better games, then you should probably play other games. And... I would say I don't understand why this game is so overhyped, but I definitely do. It's just the mobile players. That's that's this game's entire player base is the people who can't play the um, the better games. Also, I've been I've been beating up normal bandits and it wants me to beat up sword bandits. Fantastic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know what the footage is gonna be of in this video. I don't know how this video. I feel like it's gonna be a little all over the place. Oh my god, I'm getting messed up. Strictly for the fact that. Um, like you know it's just me bandit beating so whenever something interesting happens then i'll show it or make a comment about it also these i mean the combat for the grinding isn't like horribly brain dead but i feel that's just because i don't have any skills yet so i'm forced to m1 them also i don't know what the block keybind is if there is one <laughs> i think npcs that can block but i don't know if i can 
Um, but yeah, it's not. It's definitely not the worst One Piece game I've ever seen out there. There's worse ones. This one isn't like bad, like horribly bad. Not to bash the makers of the game, even though I just died. Um, is the death screen anything unique, or does it just fade to black and you respawn? You just fade to black and respawn. Okay. But um, oh, there's a shop right here. Let's see, what is this? Mm, would you like to take a look at my shop? Oh, a wooden katana. How much? Can I get? Oh, uh, it's four thousand. I only have three thousand. What about you, sir? Would you like to take a look at my shop? A random devil fruit for three hundred gems. Reset stat points. Accessory chest. I have no gems. How much are gems? Like, do they cost robux? Can I? Can I? Can I get them with robux? <laughs> uh, a random demon fruit. Wow, that's a thousand. It's ten dollars to get a random devil fruit. <sighs> That is, that is something. I will not lie, that is something. Um, I mean, like, I have seen some gameplay with fruits in this game, but they don't look very good. And I think I at least want to get a skill before I end this video, just so, like, I can, I can really show off some. So, back to grinding, I guess. Alright, so thanks, thanks, Winner, for letting, giving me a fruit just now. Um, yeah, I wanted to use a fruit and he gave me barrier but um yeah i didn't really just like want to have this video be empty so here we are and that's the did he say anything because i said something <laughs> w game gpo killer <laughs> but um yeah it's definitely let, let's see let's see um demon fruit skills oh, okay we get the first skill off rip that's nice at least a hundred devil fruit mastery for a guard. Okay, at least um, perform barrier creating barrier blocking specific and firing to deal damage. Oh, that looks um uh okay. I guess that doesn't look great. I'm not even gonna lie. That doesn't look very good. It's you have to stand completely still and then it fires like this. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. The trail in the ground. That's that's that, 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 that's cool. I'll give it that one. That one's that's cooler than what whatever what else they were doing. But I mean, there you go. There's a skill you guys get to see. Um, it deals pretty bad damage. I think it would be better if I like swung and then grouped up enemies and then swung and then um, oh my god. Oh my god. Stay back. Oh, this doesn't work well. Why is it just sitting there? I'm gonna die. 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 How are they hitting me? What are they hitting me with? They have ranged attacks. Well, that's just greatly disappointing. If I had, I probably shouldn't be taking on a bunch of them at once. I just wanted to show off the fruit. I thought it would make grinding a whole lot easier, but I was very, very wrong. But, um, yeah, let me show off a little bit more of the island. Actually, like, the stuff here. Because I've, like, literally just showed off that one area. But, yeah, there is a dock right here. Um, that's where I ate the fruit. But, um, then you can see the map that leads to the other islands. This is the same map that you have in your menu right here. It shows all the levels and all that. I think max level is 500, if I'm not wrong. And you get all of that sweet stuff. There are boats, and you can see the island. The boats are just very slow. Traversal is a bit of a pain. Oh, there's a swim animation? Okay, that's not bad. Why'd oh, I'm a devil fruit user now, so I can't, like, swim. I was like, why am I dying? That is a not a great looking move. I'm not even gonna lie. There's there, <laughs> it's not fantastic. But um, yeah, I guess I guess I'll give my final impressions now that I have a fruit. Um, you know, I showed off a little bit more. I know I only hit level 14, but forgive me. This like I've been doing this brain dead it's not even very interesting man to beating and i'm already pretty tired of it but um yeah so final impressions are gonna have to be also i found out what the block key was <laughs> yeah final impressions are gonna have to be this game is not very good 
Um, I don't, I definitely don't see people really playing it that much past, um, probably not too far from now. Like, I don't see people just continuing to play it. Uh, they don't really have a reason to. There's better games out there. I think the only reason it's getting played is because, um, Blocks Root updates take a long time. And all the people who play Blocks Roots, who enjoy these types of games, will go or some of them, not all of them, will go and play this since they've already completely beaten Blocks Roots. I think that's probably what a, like, a majority of this game's player base is. Um, I'm not going to say that the game has absolutely no potential, because if you look back at the early, early development of GPO, I'm not going to say it looked like this, but it definitely looked a little similar-ish in a way. It definitely, early GPO looked a lot more promising than this, but I could see that if the developers really, really cared about this game, they could definitely do something with it if they wanted to. I don't know if they want to, though, and that's the thing. Also, I'm beating up sword bandits. I only need to be defeating normal bandits. What am I doing? Um, but, yeah, if they if they wanted to, they definitely could do something with this. I'm not going to say the game has no potential. I'm not going to say the game is completely horrible. I am going to say, though, that this game, as of right now, I don't really see why you would... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Am I, I'm getting infinite comboed by NPCs. Wow. <laughs> Um, I don't really see a reason why you would play it, though. There's, it's, A, it's a brain dead bandit beater, and B, it's not even a very good one at that. So, I don't really get it too much. And then again, I didn't play it for that long. So, yeah. But, I will say this, that this game, realistically, for what it is right now, should not be as popular as it is like i'm just gonna flat out say that which it might be a little messed up but it's just true it it's not it's nothing unique and the models kind of look a little lazy the animations don't look very great um i would say that if again if they really tried they could definitely do something with it, but for right now, for what it is, I will say that this game is definitely overhyped. It's not really worth even giving it a shot, unless unless you're really one of those die-hard Blocks Root King Piece fans who really likes games like these. Um, then sure, give it a try, I guess. But if you like games with a little more depth to them, then I wouldn't even bother. I don't think. But, um, yeah, those are just my opinions. Again, I'm not saying this game is horrible. It definitely could go somewhere if the devs really put in the work and the effort. I don't know if they will, but that's just what I'm thinking. So, uh, I know I didn't do too much in the game, but I appreciate you guys if you made it here. See you guys next time. Peace.